Newcastle Fan TV down here at a cold Emirates. Uh, just seeing Arsenal beat Burnley 2-1 in the FA Cup to progress through to the next round. Enjoyable game, really enjoyed the game. Time to get into the player ratings. Now, in goal, David Ospina coming in for Petr Cech. Couple of little shaky moments. There's one moment where he caught the ball and dropped it, but other than that, I thought he did uh, pretty decent. Um, it's always hard to come in. You, you haven't hardly played any games this season and then you just got to come straight into a game. There's going to be nerves. There's going to be all kind of things going through his head. So I thought fairly decent enough from uh, David Ospina. I'm going to give him a six out of ten. Um, at right back, Callum Chambers. Uh, I thought he did decent in defence, but it was the goal. What a fantastic finish. This man here, Dennis Burkamp, would have been proud of that finish. That was absolutely brilliant. Um, for that goal alone, got to give him a 7.5. Callum Chambers, what a fantastic goal. If you haven't seen that goal, check it out. Brilliant. Uh, in the middle of the park, uh, Gabriel. It's a bit shaky today, I thought. You know, he grew into the game. Later on, I thought defensively he was OK. But in the first half, he was getting a lot of problems from Vokes, um, physical presence. Not his greatest a game. I'm going to give Gabriel a 5 out of 10. Next to him, Lauren Koscielny, I thought possibly even worse. Very shaky today, Koscielny. Very uncharacteristic of him. Balls, letting balls bounce when they shouldn't have done. Not, he just weren't himself to me. Four out of ten for me for Lauren Koscielny. Not his greatest of games. On the other hand, on the left-hand side, Kieran Gibbs, I thought was outstanding today at the back. He didn't put a foot wrong. Very, very good. Solid performance by Kieran Gibbs. Uh, the sort of performances that he, he's become known for. Um, very, very good performance by him. I'm going to give um, Kieran Gibbs um, a 7.5 out of 10. Now let's move to the midfielders. Francis Coquelin came in in that defensive midfielder position. Looked a little bit rusty as he would. He's been out for so long um, with that horrible injury, but he's coming back again, grew into the game, tied towards the end. But so, so good to see him back. Uh, six, uh, seven out of ten for Francis Coquelin. Uh Didn't really do nothing wrong in the game. Uh, solid. Mohamed El Nene next to him, making his debut. I thought a very encouraging debut by him. A uh, couple of times earlier on in the game where he kind of got out-muscled a bit, but he kind of then realised that, you know what, this is England, man. This is how they do it here. Yeah, they ain't going to give you time um, like it is over in Switzerland. I need to, you know, stand up in this game. And I thought he did. And also, he showed uh, some good range of passes. He had a shot on him from long range, which was really good. Really encouraging performance for me. Um, I was very impressed. I'm going to give him 7.5 out of 10 for his debut. For a debut, I thought that was very, very exciting from uh, Mohamed El Nene. Um, Iwobi, Alex Iwobi, I thought was outstanding today. I mean, he was interviewing some fans earlier. I think it was Claude was uh, saying that he, 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 or was it Kenny Ken? I can't remember which one. I think it could have been Kenny Ken was talking him down. I thought Iwobi was outstanding today. One of the best players on the pitch for Arsenal. Um, I'm going to give him 7.5 out of 10. Showed a lot of maturity. Some great runs by him. Really, really impressed with Iwobi. This is a guy who's going to be a star player in the future. Um, let's go to uh, Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain. Again, I thought had a very good game today. Uh, again, First half, a little shaky. Had a couple of shots that maybe he could have done better with, but I loved his endeavour today. Loved his direct running. He caused all kinds of problems for Burnley's defence. Seven out of ten. Much improved by Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain today. Very, very good. And uh, up front, Olivier Giroud. Missed the flicker man today. Instead of trying to have shots today, it's like every time he just tried... To, he kept trying to do these little back heels and that. Held the ball up well as usual, but... What was he up to today? He was, he was, he, you know what? Today was one of them typical sort of uh, Giroud performances where people start to say, yeah, he's playing like he can't be bothered, which isn't true. He was bothered. But what's all the flicks? Flick, flick. I'm going to get mine around him. I'm going to give uh, Giroud a 6 out of 10 today. Um, you know, he was decent, but it wasn't his uh, best of uh, performances. And then we come to the main man, for me, the man of the match for Arsenal. That was Alexis Sanchez. Great finish um, at a time when they, uh, Burnley had equalised. 
Uh, he came with that goal that got us ahead and he was just a constant thorn in their side. You know, he's not up to full speed yet, but the quality of this guy, he is a world-class player. He's a match winner. Man of the match today for me was Alexis. Eight out of ten. Fantastic performance by him. So good to see him back. He's going to be such an important player for us in the running. Let's go to the substitutes bench. Um, Mikel Arteta came on, was pretty solid. You know, I thought did a decent job, steadied the ship. Uh, six out of ten for Mikel Arteta. Thomas Riziki, great to see him coming back. Didn't really get a chance to affect the game very much, um, but, you know, he got involved. Six out of ten, just fantastic to see um, the little man back. Well done to him. And finally, Theo Walcott. Uh, Theo Walcott. Listen, I just wanted him. I so badly wanted him. He, he had that chance at the end where he was one-on-one. -on -one. I so badly wanted him to score. He messed it up unfortunately uh, and for that and the fact that he I would probably would have given him a five out of ten because he weren't on long enough to affect the, the game but because he messed that up i've got to give him a four so four out of ten for theo he didn't really play particularly but actually let me mark that up to a five because i think four would be too harsh to base it solely off of that chance because he hadn't been on the pitch that long but he should really have buried that chance Manager today, let's give the manager 7 out of 10. Picked a strong team. He's taken the FA Cup seriously. Uh, he brought Coquelin in, El Nene in for his debut. Uh, manager did all right. Fans today, 6. A bit quiet, the fans. Waiting for things to happen. This is the problem with modern day football. It's not an Arsenal problem. I was talking the other day to some fans of some, some other clubs. Uh, I was chatting to some Liverpool fans, some Man United fans. This is a big team problem. that When you play teams that you expect to win, the fans come with an expectancy and they sit back and they go, right, I'm here now. Do something to make me cheer. It never used to be like that. We used to come and cheer and then you did something. So fans today, six out of 10. Let's make it louder on Tuesday for the game against Southampton. That's the player ratings. We're through to the next round of the FA Cup. Let's win this thing again. Another useless official. <laughs> <laughs> I love the bit in the game when the official the ball hit him, so he stopped the attack. And then it was a foul on our player and he gave it to them. I just couldn't believe that one. Well, he should have got a yellow card out for the foul on uh, Ospina when mm. the player actually stopped and then fell on Ospina. Mm. 